NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga returns to Nairobi today, uh, 3rd of January 2018. He has been holed up at, a, at an undisclosed location somewhere in Malindi with all his top strategies yeah, over the last three days. NASA insiders are saying what they were doing was uh, putting finishing touches yeah, to their game plan for 2018, especially early 2018. Now, naturally, <laughs> uh, Jubilee are not very comfortable when they hear NASA strategies uh, working on something, okay? Because uh, NASA has been very devastating, yeah, in their political strategy, in their plans, yeah, they've completely and utterly stayed on top of their game. That is the truth. So far, Jubilee have always been left to react. Yeah? The initiative, uh, the agenda, etc., etc., seems to be set by NASA, yeah? politically speaking. But the truth is, all is not well with NASA. Now I can already see most of you sitting up and <laughs> asking, Iko Shidagani? <laughs> relax, relax, I'll tell you in a minute. The problem with NASA is they're very, very impatient yeah, supporters. NASA supporters do not want to hear, oh, we are putting everything into shape. They don't want to hear about strategy. They don't want to hear about timing. All they want is for Raila Odinga to be sworn in. Hakuna kitu ingine. In fact, a NASA supporter uh, summarized it very well. Yeah, the feelings of the uh, vast majority of NASA supporters were summarized very well by one NASA supporter when he said, uh, we in NASA, we don't want to hear about mass action, we don't want to hear about anything. The only thing we want to hear about is Raila eating the Bible. <laughs> now, eating the Bible has a very deep spiritual meaning. Eh? I'm not talking about that. When people say eating the Bible, actually it's a direct translation from uh, the Swahili language. When somebody takes an oath, in Kiswahili we say, amekula kiapo. Okay? And so NASA supporters' uh, careless translation of this is we want Raila to eat the Bible as soon as possible. Yeah? Now what is worrying NASA supporters is that uh, the NASA High Command, yes, seem to be unsure and uncertain about this swearing-in thing, okay? Um, they don't seem to be talking so much about it, okay? What is coming out of the forefront now is mass action, okay? And other things to bring uh, Jubilee to the negotiation table. It is very fascinating, but it seems the arrival of uh, one Kalozo Musioka, the deputy presidential candidate for NASA, back into the country, uh, it seems to have toned down uh, NASA rhetoric. Uh, it seems to have toned down the radicalism within NASA. Because as tough talking as uh, Kalonzo was, and customarily so, as I've said in an earlier recording, as tough talking as Kalonzo was, all his statements, all his major threats and uh, tough talk were always ending with the word negotiations. Indeed, negotiations are a good thing. Indeed, negotiations are the only thing. Yeah, because what else? Yeah. However, NASA supporters do not see it that way. NASA supporters do not see anything coming out of negotiations with Jubilee. NASA supporters want Rail Odinga to be sworn in like yesterday. NASA supporters want secession. NASA supporters want nothing to do with the fraudulent... Uh, Jubilee government. Now the very interesting thing here is that even uh, recent announcements uh, by NASA that uh, in the final stages of forming what is called a parallel government yeah, do not seem to uh, appease NASA supporters. Actually the plan is to form a, a parallel cabinet yeah, uh, reports are saying that this parallel cabinet 
will be announced on Monday yeah, from somewhere in Western Kenya, uh, most likely Kakamega. The choice of Western Kenya is interesting. Uh, my personal view is that it's a smart move, okay, and it's a smart move because political temperatures seem to be highest, yeah, in Western Kenya at the moment. You will remember the incident in Bale where uh, water CS Eugene Wamala was chased away by an angry mob. Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, his security detail was uh, under attack, literally, yeah, from a very angry mob. In fact, had it not been for the intervention of uh, NASA principal, Musadi Amdabadi, who escorted him and tried to calm down the, the, cl the crowd, escorted him to his vehicle and tried to calm down the crowd, <laughs> That Mbale incident would have been something else, okay? So temperatures are extremely high uh, in Western Kenya, okay? Now in the next episode, uh, we will go deeper into these uh, issues within NASA, yeah? But I guess it's best to start with the reason why temperatures seem to be so high in Western Kenya, okay? So you know the usual drill, uh, link on your top left-hand corner, and I'll see you there in a bit. This is Chris Kumekwicha.